What's up, what's up, Builders Club TV Nation? Dewan Jones here, your professional stay-at-home dad. I want to welcome you tonight, family. Excited, you know how we do it. Excited about the guests that we have on the show tonight. This gentleman's making some noise out here in, this, in, in these internet streets, guys. Entrepreneur, home business mentor, credit restoration specialist. He's doing some phenomenal things, helping a lot of people in the process. Family, we got CJ Jones on the show tonight. Let me get myself on camera so I can speak to the family. Thank you again, as always, for tuning in. Uh, continue to subscribe to the show. Uh, continue to spread the word about the Builders Club TV Nation. It's finally here, guys, and uh, we're excited. We're going to continue to bring the extreme value uh, as we share the stories of, of unique people, phenomenal people doing phenomenal things. Let me make sure our good friend CJ can hear us. CJ, can you hear me okay, sir? Awesome. Let me get you on camera, man, so we can talk to you live and direct. There you go, man. What's going on, brother? I'm doing good, man. Blessed to be on. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, man. We're excited to have you on the show, man. Thank you for coming on to the Builders Club TV. Uh, no doubt. You know, when you reached out to me, um, I went through your um, YouTube channel and I started sending all these interviews of people that I knew back in the day. So I was like, okay. This is something I could definitely be interested in. <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome, man. And we definitely had to reach out, man, um, to you because, again, um, the, the the goal for us is to uh, highlight and, or put the spotlight on people that are doing great things inside this home business industry and uh, most importantly, helping a lot of people. This is our opportunity to, uh, again, spread a, a positive light on the uh, home business industry uh, and uh, bring us full full court or full speed ahead into the mainstream. I help kind of uh, again put a positive focus on the industry that we that we love so much. And so again, we appreciate you coming on to the show, man. Um, what we like to do, CJ, uh, since you've seen the show a little bit, uh, we, we have the Builders Club TV time machine, man. We like to hop into the Builders Club TV time machine and take the family back on a journey, a virtual journey, if you will, into the stories in the past of successful people because we've learned so much so far, you know, talking about how uh, people like yourself have gotten to success and uh, we, we found out there's so much to reveal in the path of successful people, man. So can we talk a little bit about your story tonight man yes yes we can um it, it's been a long time coming you know people don't understand like to really get to a successful point it takes a lot of hard work a lot of sacrificing and you know to be honest with you when i first got into the home um the home-based industry it was through a relative i didn't even really look online like most people do to look for a uh, home-based business mm -hmm. but an actual relative reached out to me and you know the first company i ever drawn was mca mm -hmm. you know old school <laughs> uh -huh. oh yeah legendary <laughs> just tell <you> about <laughs> yeah so um he told me you know um you sign up for 40 bucks and you make 80 bucks i was like what <laughs> <laughs> i was like how did that even work but i didn't even question it. i was like it just sounds so easy because the price point was so low so i just joined up not knowing anything about it and once i got in i was like what do I do next? <laughs> right, 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 right. Then, but because he was so new to it, he didn't know. Mm. So I was like, okay, no, this is probably going to be something I have to take on by myself. And knowing me, I'm a hard worker anyway. But um, at the time I was working living paycheck to paycheck. So this was, I was like, okay, this could be something that you know, I can make some extra income with. Well, that's amazing. I was just getting ready to ask you about how you got started in this industry. So MCA, legendary company, man. Tell us, what was it like at the beginning as far as your first impression? You said your friend introduced you, but what was your first impression being that this was something new to you? Um, My first impression was I thought it was going to be easy. Mm. <laughs> um, but that wasn't the case. Um, so once I got in, you know, <clears throat> I started going on YouTube and looking up other people that's in MCA. Right. And I started seeing all these success stories. I'm like, man, how are they making this stuff look so <clears throat> easy? <laughs> right, right, right. And I'm struggling. At the time. And at the time, you know, I didn't really know anything about marketing or anything. So my Facebook page was just full of people that I knew. Right. So in order to build a successful business, <laughs> you're going to end up making money with people you don't know. Mm. And that's where most people don't understand that you try to pitch the family and friends and you got to understand, like they kind of already know you. Right, 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 <laughs> so right. 
So what I had to do is I, I stayed on YouTube all night, just learning how to market and brand myself. Mm. And it took me a while because it was something new. I'd never done it before. Mm. But at the end of the day, with my work ethic, I knew if I stayed in it long enough and I continued to learn, it was going to pay out for me. Right. Now, I did make quite a, a nice bit of money with MC. I ain't going to say I made like six figures like most people, but mm. I once I started making money, I was like, okay, I can do this. So I just continued to perfect, perfect my craft and I started connecting with a lot of people on YouTube, started adding them as friends. So basically I, I created a whole new Facebook page separate from friends mm. because I knew I had to create a whole new audience in order to be successful with this online industry. Mm. So I created a whole new Facebook page. I started adding other like-minded individuals and I started learning, watching what they do. And then I started putting my own twist on things. <laughs> mm. But that's, that's pretty how I really got started. But it, it took me quite a while. It took me a few years to really get it down pat. Let me ask you this, because in the process of building and making those discoveries, uh, you know, uh, things like being discouraged starts to seep in. Uh, what did you do about that? How did you how did you stay motivated in the process of, you know, building when the success wasn't here yet? Oh, don't get me wrong. I was frustrated. Mm. <laughs> I was frustrated plenty of times where I wanted to quit. <laughs> but but by me adding those like minded individuals, they were there to continue to motivate me, you know, and, and teach me different things. They didn't give me all the sauce, you know, right. some sauce I had to learn on my own, but they gave me just enough to keep going. And I didn't want to be spoon fed or anything like that because, you know, I didn't want to hand it to me. I wanted to go out there and earn it. Mm. So they gave me a little sauce to get me to where I need to go. And then after that, I just started putting things together and then it just started taking off. Right. But right. Trust me, it was plenty of times where I wanted to give up because I thought like, man, this isn't for me. But as I watched, because YouTube was my university. So I stayed on YouTube and watching other people, other successful people. And they kept saying, if you stay in this thing long enough, you eventually going to get to where you want to go. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. They think it's supposed to happen immediately. And it just that's just not the case. <laughs> so, you know, it takes a lot of dedication and sacrifices. Right. Right. Well, let's talk about YouTube a little bit since you're talking about YouTube. Um, you know, YouTube is not uh on trial anymore you know people understand that you know video marketing is, is it's the number one form uh most effective form of marketing today especially in this era right um uh, was youtube a major factor uh in terms of your success and was it like a major vehicle for you so far oh most definitely most definitely because because once i learned that you can make a nice good video and make six figures off that one video mm. it was a wrap <laughs> wow 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 because you got to think about it. You upload it and you under, because I, I i learned how to um, do seo all that stuff just by watching youtube videos mm. so once i learned how to rank videos and you get on that first page and you're on the first five spots you make that one video to keep rank you got hundreds and thousands of thousand people watching your video mm. Wow. Wow. So let's talk about this, because on the flip side, even though video, like you said, um, once you, you learn how to really rank videos and get your video seen, you know, uh, there's still a, a group of people, even though they know YouTube is very effective. There's still a group of people who are camera shy, afraid, not really sure what to say when, once they're on camera. Uh, don't want to don't want to look you know crazy they kind of have those insecurities and those anxieties did you go through that at the beginning before you got on youtube yes indeed yeah <laughs> because like you know because when you're making a video even though you're making it for people to reach you mm -hmm. but you're looking at yourself when you're making it <laughs> yeah 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 so it, it was kind of different but um I understood like the, the the power of it. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you. The first time I did a video, it was probably like a minute and thirty seconds. Mm. But it probably took me hours to make it how I wanted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plus the editing, right? <laughs> it took me a lot. Yeah, like because it was my first time doing it. But I knew I just had to get started. The more times I did it, the better I got at it. And that's what people don't understand. Like you have to start in order to get to where you want to be. And if you just continue to be afraid, like you can't think, you can't be afraid of what people think of you because at the end of the day, you promoting your business. So people want to see you for you. Don't try to be anybody else. So that's what I did. I just stuck with it. Well, um, stayed, tr stayed true to myself and it really took off for me. 
Right, right, right. So there's going to be people watching the interview and they're going to be like, I hear you, CJ. I hear you, man. But video is so intimidating. You got the camera, the lens is staring right in my face, man. Man, tell me why video? Why Why is it really worth my time? Because people people can feel like they can relate to you. Mm. You know, people see you, 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 you're talking to like, you know, for my, my credit stuff, my credit industry, right. my credit niche or whatever. Right. People can relate to me because, like, they see me as a you know a young black man educating my people, mm-hmm. and they feel like they can relate or they relate to my story mm. because it, because I didn't know anything about credit at first, right. but I had to learn. Right. And once I started giving people value, they was able to relate to me and they trust me, so they joined me with no problem. Would you so say that's one of the video marketing helps build that trust between people? Right, right. Would you say that that's one of the blocks most people have is that they're not able on the social media monster, they're not able to make a real connection with people because of their lack of video and being seen. Exactly. Right. Well, so you can post on social media all you want, but if you own video, people feel like they know you. You know, they they want to reach out to you more and stuff like that. So mm. video is very important for growing any business. Like some people can market strictly online, mm-hmm. but I felt the best way for me was um, video was very powerful and still is to this day. Right, right. Well, you still got a group of people watching this interview and they're like, I hear you, CJ. I hear you, man. But come on, man. Since, this, <laughs> since you saying all of this, tell me, you know, how do I get past the, the, the bump? You know, how do I get to the point where I'm confident enough to start shooting my own videos, man. Since you say video is all that, <laughs> it's, it's repetition. Repetition. It's repetition. Repetition. Just like anything, like just like anything, you you're not an expert when you start, but once you start doing it more and more, you get more comfortable. Mm. Like, it, like this is my first interview, but since I've been making YouTube videos, I feel more comfortable because I've done videos plenty of times. Like I done made over a hundred some videos in my three years, three four years of doing it. Mm. As for video marketing. So the secret is when you start, you may be a little uh, shaky, but through repetition of trial and error, bumping your head a little bit, figuring out some things, you will eventually get better. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying, CJ? Yeah, it's it's (laughs) almost like you create, it's almost like you creating a story. Like Mm. people want to see where you started to where you are now. Like even when I started making my videos, they wasn't the best, but it got the point across. Like most of the time, people just watch your videos for information. They don't even care how you look. Mm. They want to see what kind of information you provide. Mm. And then as soon as you start making more and more videos, like you have to do it consistently. Like I was making videos every few days just to put out more content. Mm. Even though it wasn't the best, people enjoyed the information. Mm. But once you start realizing, okay, I'm doing these videos, no problem. You're going to you're gonna get more confident and you're going to get a lot better at speaking in front of the um, camera. Wow, that's powerful. So, CJ, you're basically saying that people might be thinking about a little too hard uh, in terms of, you know, you know how I look. Is it the right lighting? Is it the right angle? Am I saying the right things? Are you basically saying, CJ, people don't really care about that when people want information and they probably been looking at a few other sources before they discover your video. And they're glad that you have a video that has the information they were looking for. So all the other stuff goes out the window. They don't care what you're wearing, your hairstyle, who you are. They just want to know, do you have the information, right? Correct. Like some, You might have some people that come on there and, and talk about how you look, but who cares? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, you have to get to the point where you don't care what other people think of you. Mm. Because there's going to be... There's going to be some people that like you. There's going to be some people that dislike you. All you worry about, all you, I mean, all you focus on are the people that want to work with you. You don't have to worry about everybody else. <laughs> mm. That's very true because even when you think about, you know, say you take a singer like Beyonce, right? You could take a singer like Beyonce and she's obviously phenomenal, right? But there's still a group of people right. out there that says, she all right, right? She's okay. Right. But I like this person better, which is a testament to uh, your audience is just going to be your audience. People are going to rock with you uh, no matter what. And that's just how it's going to be. So you're going to have your own tribe. And that's what basically you've been able to do, CJ. You built your own tribe. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> wow. Just like the, just like the Sarah goes, if you don't have haters, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> mm. So it's time to get our haters up. That's the key. That's the secret sauce is get your haters up.
So talk to us a little bit about, you know, fast forward, you know, as you were building your business, you said MCA is where you got where you got your start. Right. But now fast forward, um, you said you had, you know, some success there Uh, moving into your next venture. uh, Did success start to pick up or was it just more lessons? Correct. Like I've been doing this for about six, seven years now. Okay. So. I didn't really. I, I'm. A, I'm. A, I want to share this story. Okay. They have this guy named Ray Ray De Niro, and he got this video called Six Figure State of Mind, and he brought out some brought out some statistics um, for me one time well, on his video, and he said the numbers is 97 percent of people fail in network marketing, and only three percent three percent um succeed. But what they don't tell you is that if you stay in network marketing for um, 97% of people that stay in network marketing for up to 10 years mm. will see six figures. But that's something that they never tell you. Mm. <laughs> so when he brought, when he said that to me, I was like, okay, I'm going down the right path. If I continue doing this, I'm eventually going to get to where I want to go. Mm. So, um, so since I've been doing it for a while, I've been in a lot of companies. It's too many to even name. Mm-hmm. And that was my issue when I was learning because I'm doing too many things at one time. Mm. So I'm jumping from this company to that company to this company, not just focusing on one thing. And then I came across this video of Alex Becker. <laughs> mm. And he said, when, when you are focusing on one thing, you need to master that one thing until you're ready to move on to something else. So I will say about my fourth year, fourth or fifth year, I just focused on that one thing. Now, at this time, I took all the knowledge I learned from network marketing, and then I started the credit restoration section. But it prepared me for that because all the marketing and branding skills I learned from network marketing. So it, it the transition was so easy. Once I started, I took off immediately. Mm. Mm. So I actually just got into net. I retired from network marketing for about two, three years because I was focused on that. And my first year, I did six figures in my credit restoration business. Mm. And so I actually did that for a few years. And then somebody reached out to me about this network marketing company that I recently joined. You probably know about it, GFU. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it fits me because I travel a lot anyway. Mm. So it's all you don't just want to join anything. You want to join something that you're going to be passionate about, or something that you want to share, and not just do it for the money. Mm. Which is what most people do, you just join stuff just because somebody else making a lot of money. You have to join with a company that's that you're going to be passionate about and be willing to share with people. So once I got into G Food, I travel a lot. I know people that travel a lot. It was an easy opportunity for me, and plus I love the discounts. But since I've been in it for like two months, I'm already getting ready to hit my third rank in the company. Wow. But that's a testament of being and learning, you know, from other people that's in the industry, connecting, building relationships. And now I can sell anything that I want to sell because I've built up that experience. Wow. But you have to go through the hard times to get to the good times. <laughs> That's that's so true, CJ. Tell me, what do you? What's your opinion on this? Why do you think so many people inside the home business space overlook the uh, you know the experience side of the game? The fact that experience is so important because uh, that's one of the common themes in these interviews. Experience, experience. Everyone's talking about the experience that they had to endure. Why do you think so many people, fresh, especially getting into the game? Uh, you know, they want the quick, fast su- su- success and overlook the experience side of it. Not to throw shots at anybody. It's just the way some people promote. Mm. You know, um, it's just people just throwing stuff out there thinking it's going to be quick, fast, in a hurry and people don't know about that part. <laughs> mm. They just see the end game but don't see the beginning. Like, a lot of these people that you see having success, it took them a while to get there. But they see the end result and not and don't truly understand the beginning. And that's the way I, I promote. I don't tell people that you're going to make this, this, that or whatever immediately. You know, it's a it's a learning, um, a learning experience. Wow. But it's, the journey is well worth it because now I work for myself. I don't have to call another person a boss. Mm. You know, that was my ultimate goal is not to work for anybody ever again. 
Mm. <laughs> and you got to stick to that if that's something that you really want. Like you really have to map out your goals and put a plan around it. Exactly. That leads into my next question uh, that I want to find out from you. Now that you've been able to, you know, put yourself in that position where you don't have to call anybody else a boss, right? What is life? What is your life like now in terms of, you know, your, your lifestyle and, you know, what is freedom that freedom feel like? Like, honestly, I prefer time freedom more than financial freedom. Mm. Some people might, it might be the other way around. Like, I, my time is very, um, very valuable. Right. I love my time. Right. But it was just um, important to me to enjoy my time freedom. Like, of course, you know, I make good money. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still the same person that I was when I was broke. <laughs> mm. Like, I was struggling when I first started. But right. the only thing that changed about me is that I travel a lot. You know, I, my lifestyle changed a little bit, but I'm still going to be the same person. I'm always going to remain humble. I don't think I'm better than anybody else because I know how it is to be at the bottom. And just because I came up a little bit, it's not going to change me as a person. It actually helped me put more people in position to win. And that's wow. the ultimate goal. Like, you going to be a lot more people successful around you instead of trying to <laughs> trying to come up from the bottom. Like, you want to show them, you know, there's more ways to be able to be your own boss instead of having to work for somebody for your whole life. Wow. Wow. And, you know, I'm glad to hear you share and be that transparent, man. In fact, um, that's CJ. One of the reasons we wanted to put this uh, platform together as far as the Builders Club TV show is, again, we wanted to kind of help to not like, you know, rebrand the industry, but kind of give a different dimension or share a different dimension. The side, I believe that uh, a lot of people don't get a chance to see because they like you said, there's a lot of people out there promoting the high life, the flash, the glitz, the glamour, but kind of, um, you know, uh, glossing over all the hard work and mindset and experience that has to be built up before you even attain that kind of you know level of success. Right. So people brand new getting right. involved are thinking they should be able to just come in and, and do the exact same thing. Never mind that LeBron had to, you know, practice free throws and layups first before he started soaring through the air and dunking on anybody in his way. Right. They want to come in and dunk like right. LeBron <laughs> in the first game. Right. And so I'm, 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 I'm excited that you're uh, sharing that with us, man. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about what it feels like now outside of the lifestyle? Uh, the breakthrough has, has come. You're, you're, you're working on, you know, new achievements. You know, you're not done. Entrepreneurs are never done. Right. We're always looking to accomplish uh, the next big thing. Right. But what does it feel like being able to put other people on, put other people in position? Man, it's been a blessing, you know, because. You got to think about this. You had reached out to me for an interview. Think about when I first started. I'm trying to beat all these other high level people that's in the position that I want to be in. Right. So now it's the the tables have turned. <laughs> right. Right. So a lot of people meet me and stuff now, and it's kind of good because that let me know I'm doing something right. Mm -hmm. Because I changed. I started from the bottom. Now I'm I'm sitting up here, and now. There's a lot of people that I didn't put in position. Now I got other people starting up their own credit restoration companies. I have a whole course out. Um, and a lot of people, I'd say about 20, 30 people done started up their whole credit restoration business since I put out that course. And a lot of them making high five to six figures already. Wow. In their first few years. So like to me, that's been a blessing for me because I changed a lot of people's lives just based on knowledge that mm. I've incurred over these years. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. That must feel amazing to know that you've had a part. Uh, your vision uh, sparked that and been able to put people in position where they can not, not only were you able to change your life, but you other people change their lives. And that's really, truly what it's all about, man. Uh, CJ, will you give out your social media website or anything like that? The family uh, can get in touch if they like. Yeah, um, my Facebook is CJ Jones. Uh, uh, depending on your location, uh, you'll see me with an Outwork Everybody shirt. <laughs> yeah. Um, my Instagram is um, at CJ the Credit Fixer. Um, my business fan page is CJ the Credit Fixer. I don't have um, Snapchat or nothing like that, but Instagram, Facebook, my YouTube channel, CJ the Credit Fixer. But um, another thing I wanted to point out too, another saying that's very important, mm -hmm. and people overlook this. They say if you help enough people get what they want in return, you'll get what you want. So a lot of people 
sleep on that saying, and it's very true. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people really truly don't take time to really think about that and to understand what it really truly means. You know what I mean? A lot of people hear that, right. and it's the same way with a lot of uh, nuggets that leaders throw out there. Like when we saw what you were doing and what we heard what you were doing that's one of the things that we do man our platform again because we want to be uh or we're going to be right the leading source uh as far as media for the home business industry <clears throat> our goal we have big goals to be the premier uh platform and media outlet for the network marketing home business industry it's very important for us to keep an eye on folks like yourself who are doing what you're doing out there helping a lot of people or like we like to say, making noise in these internet streets, right? And so we have to pay attention to, uh, you know, not only what you're doing, but uh, family, we got to pay attention to some of the things that some of the leaders like CJ Jones, uh, you know, they're out there saying, because there's a lot of jewels. There's a lot of uh, wisdom in the words of successful people. And if you're paying attention, you'll learn a lot. Um, CJ, we definitely got to have you back, man. We got some uh, uh, some things coming uh, underway that we're working on. In fact, we'll be debuting a new series, and the family's pretty excited about it already. It's called A Day in the Life. And A Day in the Life, basically, okay. yeah, man, this is going to be the lifestyles of the rich and famous for the network marketing industry. Basically, it's uh, personal development meets lifestyle. This is where we take the family on a virtual field trip, and we, um, we show them the lifestyle, but... We also continue with the personal development uh, recently, and I'm going to send you a little sneak peek. The family, the, the CJ gets a little sneak peek of the show so you can kind of get an idea. I, I slip, slip it in your inbox, but, you know, we've had a few leaders on so far. And uh, it's, again, you know, we're going to take the family on a virtual field uh, trip and let them enjoy and see the lifestyle that you're able to enjoy because of the hard work and success. But then we, again, we get to have a conversation with you and, you know, pull some more nuggets and some more wisdom uh, and pick your brain a little bit more, man. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We definitely got to have you back on the show, man. Yeah, I definitely like that concept. I'm definitely looking forward to it. And um, I just want to say, man, I, I appreciate your channel. You know, you got a lot of great inspirational people on that people definitely need to listen to. So if, you, if you're watching this video, definitely subscribe to his channel. Watch some other interviews. You're going to be inspired and ready to run through a brick wall to your success. <laughs> man, I appreciate you on that, man. And, and really, that is the truth, guys, because, I mean, when you have the opportunity to hear the stories, on our channel, like CJ is mentioning, we have people, man, that have done six, seven, and even eight figures in the industry that we've interviewed, and they are giving you the game. Like a lot of people this weekend, CJ, they're going to go home and binge watch Netflix and Hulu and everything else, and that's, that's cool. I do that, right? But if you really want to reach that level of success... Uh, you might want to binge watch the, the Builders Club TV show. I'm just saying, right? <laughs> it's a lot that can be learned, yeah. right? Yeah, YouTube is my university. You know, I went to college for one year, but, you know, it wasn't for me. So I turned to YouTube when I started up my online business stuff, and YouTube was my university for like a good three to four years. <laughs> Isn't that something, <laughs> that man? College. Isn't that something? Because there's literally... Uh, no excuses there's a lot of roadblocks there's a lot of obstacles out there there's a lot of people that don't want to see you succeed there's a lot of haters for whatever reason there's a lot of things in your way but the internet is you know universal man it's 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 available to anybody who wants access to it and the information on there is endless you literally can do anything that you want to do and nobody can stop you right correct the only person that can stop you is yourself or the ideas that you have you can you, you can stop yourself or the ideas or the concepts or whatever you think is your reality in real life and that's what you're going to live whatever you think right but don't get me to preaching on here right this ain't about me this is about cj <laughs> hey, hey i could do this all day man because i have a passion for this like once i got into all this stuff like it was a new world <laughs> but once i started to understand everything Oh, it was, it was amazing. Like you, like you might not enjoy the journey at first, but once you hit the, once you see that light at the end of the tunnel, you're going to be like, okay, I enjoyed this journey to where I want to get, where I want to get because I earned this. So it's a, it's no better feeling than seeing that light at the end of the tunnel after something you've been trying to achieve for so long. 
Absolutely, absolutely, man. Well, CJ, we know you got to continue to build a dynasty, man. So we're not going to keep you any longer. Uh, but we definitely, again, going to have you back on the show, man. I'll keep you up to date on that Day in the Life series coming soon. And uh, we just glad to have you on the show, man. Builders Club TV family, CJ Jones, everybody. Peace. See you next time. Uh, I have